All right, here we're going to look at the effective interest rate, and we're going to do it in terms of a bond, and this will be a bond issued at a discount. So our example here will be for a $100,000 bond that we issued here, and we received $97,000 cash for it, so our discount amount is $3,000 on this bond. So uh, our bond's carrying value here would be for $97,000, or its present value when issued here. So let's first look at how it's defined here. So uh, with this effective interest rate, or that's the interest earned on this bond, in this example, we're going to look here at the market interest rate, the yield to maturity, the internal rate of return, the discount rate, and an annual percentage rate, and then the target or required interest rate. So what is this effective interest rate? Well, let's look at our cash flow here in this bond. We have a $100,000 face value at maturity, and in this case we have six semi-annual payments here of uh, stated rate interest of 4.5% on this bond, or 9% per annual rate on this bond. So the uh, payments here uh, equate to $4,500 per payment. So what we do here is we discount this $100,000 face value at maturity plus those six semi-annual payments. Uh, interest payments back to what it would be worth at the issue date. Now that would be its present value here. So in this case we had the $100,000 maturity, those $4,500 payments, and their present value here was discounted back to $97,000. So the how we discounted those was based on the effective interest rate. This is what we have to calculate here, this effective interest rate to discount those cash flows back. And those are commonly referred to as the market interest rate or the yield to maturity. That's what they would call this effective interest rate. Okay, let's look at how we calculate this effective interest rate on this bond. So we have the $100,000 face value here at maturity, and we have the six semi-annual interest payments on this bond, the $4,500 each, and then we have the $97,000 present value, or the amount we receive for this bond. So we would calculate it using the internal rate of return uh, function here, and in this case I use the Excel function. So we have our $97,000 that we received on this bond, and we have those six payments of $4,500 each that we have to pay, those interest payments, plus we have $100,000 maturity on this bond that we have to pay. So we plug those numbers into our internal rate of return function here, and we get 5.093%, and that's based on a semi-annual uh, payment here. So multiplying that times 2, we get 10.186% uh, here. That's the annual percentage rate. So that internal rate of return here was used to calculate that effective interest rate. And just to cross-check our numbers here, I uh, use the present value function. So I put that internal rate of return in here into the present value function here for the Excel. The six payments of $4,500 plus the uh, uh, maturity value of $100,000. And putting that into our Excel function, we come up with a present value here uh, approximates the $97,000 uh, present value of that uh, bond. So using that internal rate of return, we could confirm here that uh, that was our correct uh, effective interest rate on this bond, or its market interest rate. All right, here we're going to look at how we'd apply this effective interest rate uh, to amortize our bond. So we have a bond here at a $97,000 carrying value at its issue date, and we have to amortize it up to $100,000 carrying value, or it's a face value here at its maturity date. So we use the internal rate of return, or we calculated the internal rate of return on those cash flows of that bond, and we came up here with a effective interest rate here of 5.093% uh, per period times two periods or two semi-annual payments here and you'd get 10.186% per year. So we looking at our amortization of this bond here we got a purchase price of 97,000 face value is 100,000 uh, years to maturity would be three years or six payments here. And then the coupon rate is that stated rate of interest on that bond, 9%. And then we have the effective rate here. That's what we calculated with our internal rate of return function to be 10.186% um, per year here.
And that is what we would refer to as our discount rate on this bond. That's where this term discount rate comes into effect. So to amortize a bond here, we have, uh, look at the first uh, year carrying value here of 97,000. You take that uh, times the effective interest rate here of 5.093% for that first period, and we get an interest expense of $4,940. Now you subtract that interest expense from the uh, interest payment that we make to our bondholders and you get uh, a difference here of four, $440. Now that's our amortized discount here. So we would add that to the beginning carrying value, get the next carrying value here or the new carrying value. And we would just carry those, um, those uh, just carry on that same procedure until we come up here with a $100,000 uh, uh, carrying value here at the maturity of the bond. So here we use the discount rate to amortize that bond and that discount rate was actually uh, we calculated that using the internal rate of return function here or the internal rate of return on those cash flows and that equates to our effective interest rate. And then you have it here for the semi-annual payment here, or the 5.093% uh, um, for each six months here times two. That gives you a 10.186% per year. That's the annual percentage rate. So this is just a summary on the terminology and how we would go out and we would uh, calculate and define this if effective interest rate and then how we'd apply it. In this case we applied it to a bond at a discounted rate to amortize that bond. Okay just to summarize uh, this effective interest rate or the the true interest earned on in this case it was on this bond. Uh, by definition this effective interest rate here would equate to the market interest rate or the yield to maturity that you commonly hear. And then the internal rate of return, that was the uh, mean, or that would be the interest rate of those uh, cash flows on that bond that are discounted from uh, back to its uh, uh, issue date here. So that would be how we would calculate this effective interest rate here. And then this discount rate, that's taking this in internal rate of return uh, interest rate that we calculate and we'd amortize the bond using this discount rate here. And then this annual percentage rate, well that's just a definition here. In, in this case we're using uh, two semi-annual payments on this discount rate. So we would multiply that discount rate times two and we'd come up with our annual percentage rate. And then the target or the required interest rate, that's just another um, definition uh, to define our, or our effective interest rate. And this is just a summary here on the terminology and how you would uh, define, calculate, and apply this effective interest rate. And we did it here on a, an example here of a discounted bond.